My name is Justin Chapman. I've been flying uh, model helicopters for 14 years now. Started Whirly Bird Films with a founder by the name of Wink Roberts. We started it three years ago. Uh, we designed and developed a camera helicopter for carrying cinema cameras. Everything from uh, film cameras to the smaller HD cameras and even some 3D rigs. Uh, back when we started the company, we started off with, um, with a smaller helicopter, which was a gas-powered helicopter that I had designed and worked with and then came to find out that the gas helicopter wasn't quite producing the amount of power that we needed. Also, too, it had a lot of vibration to it. And so from there, I had to completely redesign another helicopter, which we used a small jet engine and uh, went through about a year of development with that. Uh, everything was working good until we started putting some, some testing time on the jet and finally that little engine actually exploded out the side so I was like, it's not going to work, you know. And uh, ended up going through some contacts of mine and got some electric motors uh, custom made for me. Uh, started shaving off weight of the helicopter, made everything out of carbon fiber, Kevlar, using aerospace technology. And uh, that's pretty much what I did to get to this stage right now. Um, we've been out shooting and filming and working on some projects and everything seems to be going good so far. Uh, working with some really, really great cinematographers that are excellent at working cameras and, and shooting aerial stuff. A lot of stuff that we've done is, is uh, a lot of car commercials, a lot of feature stuff, uh, flying down the streets, uh, chasing after people. It's been fun, you know? What, what else can I say? I do what I love every day and that's, that's flying and designing model helicopters. Uh, this is going to probably be the first generation of the one that we came and, and built. Uh, it'll be continually evolving uh, from camera mounts to helicopters and flight performance. Uh, right now, we're able to fly 1,500 feet to the left of us, 1,500 feet to the right of us, uh, 400 feet in altitude. Um, flight speed's capable of 80 miles an hour. Um, everything from about just feet off the ground all the way up to 400 feet in a matter of, you know, five, six seconds. So a lot of power, a lot of stuff going on there. Fully stabilized camera head. Uh, camera head stabilized with uh, IMU technology, which has a potentiometer, velocitometer, and it's got three gyros that stabilize the head in all three axes, pan, tilt, and roll. Um, also developing camera controllers uh, that take care of uh, starting and stopping, zooming, iris, focus. You know, 14, 15, I started flying for a company called uh, Vario and ended up going to competitions and contests and flying, flying around the United States and then going to certain places of the world doing this. And um, from there, I got all my flight experience and uh, I started working with the manufacturing and, and design and development and basically got all my engineering skills from that end of it right there is all from the model industry. Then at the age of 16, I started flying full-size airplanes. Uh, at the age of 18, started flying full-size helicopters. So I'm also a full-size helicopter pilot as well. So a lot, of, a lot of the things transfer over from being a full-size pilot to being a model pilot. So that's what makes it you know, safe and reliable for when you're out there shooting these things in, in uh, really pressured atmospheres at times when, as we all know, filming in the industry, it's not all it's not all easy to do all the time. So, The hardest thing that I had to do, and it was the funnest thing, is that I, I did a commercial called the Bud Light Chopper. And it, was, it, was, it had nothing to do involved with flying the camera stuff, but what it had to do with was, was flying and performing in front of the camera, the model helicopter. And it went from, I had to cut hedges, to mow the lawn, to blow leaves out of the top of a gutter, to coming in and flying you know, precision on camera. And that was actually the hardest thing that I had to do. Any hand flying stuff that I do that's in front of the camera, that to me is a lot harder. It's a lot more intimidating because you have to fly right, you have to get into the frame, you have to hold it there, you have to make sure that you get the shot. The camera flying stuff um, really haven't quite been too pressured in doing some, some of the shots. Uh, it's always exciting because they're either gonna put me in the back of a truck where I'm strapped in and I'm flying back there and the camera operator sitting in the front seat and the RF guy and a stunt driver and we're going 50 miles an hour bombing down the road and the helicopter's going from one side over to the other side and you got the wind blowing in your face and your eyes are watering but it's all good, yeah. Well, some of, so, uh, Race to Witch Mountain was, was a good one. Um, the Old Dogs, which was another fun one. We were flying down uh, you know, over a zoo, which was, you know, I was standing on top of this big giant crane that lifted me up probably about 60 feet in the air so I had to take off and land the helicopter looking down 60 feet so that was 
there was a lot of pressure there just trying to judge your depth perception while landing was difficult. But other than that, flying the shot and, and, and making everything happen there was pretty good. Um, you know, God, I, I got to say, it's, it's everything that I've done has been super exciting. And a lot of it's going to be coming out and some of the stuff I can't talk about because it's just the way how this industry goes. And uh, yeah, Police Academy 8 is going to be, be pretty exciting because they're, you know, we're going to have full reign of pretty much any shots that we could come up with that's going to be, you know, unique and different. And who knows, we might do 100 of them and they only use one or two of them, but at least we're out there doing it, you know, get, getting the shots, making, making unique stuff happen, you know. Yeah, ever since I was young, my mom always told me to do what it was that I loved and that would become my trait, you know, in life. So I always loved flying ever since an early age and I knew that was something that I was always going to be a part of. Um, starting off in the RC industry, just, you know, at such a young age and doing it back then, it was real hard, it was expensive. And I worked over at my dad's RV shop just to purchase my first helicopter. So my parents always set value to something. You know, if you want it, you have to work for it. And so that was really important. Rather than my dad handing me over 500 bucks and saying, here you go, he put me to work for two summers and I had to save my money. So that's kind of where my first helicopter came from. And by, by knowing that and learning that at such a young age, um, God, I could remember being uh, 15 years old and being able to go to all these events and helicopter shows and everybody always was attracted to me because of the way I was flying or I was doing it at such a young age and they were always like, hey, how are you doing this? How are you doing that? You know, and, and uh, every, you know, had a, had a lot of help from a lot of people out there to get me to the position that I am today. Um, everything from, from flying full-size helicopters all came from the help of, of friends of mine. Same thing with airplanes came from the help of friends of mine. And it was all in the spirit of aviation, you know, just, just keeping on the clean road not doing drugs, not staying up all night and drinking and partying. I mean, I'll spend, you know, 10 hours a day in front of a lathe, you know, sitting there turning out little parts and seeing if it works or not worked or, you know, soldering little devices to see if it's stabilizing or, you know, writing software programs. And that's some of the stuff that I love to do and enjoy doing and, and knowing that it will take me on an exciting path. But just from right now, I'm just gonna see, see where it goes. You know, I've had hundreds of people come over and say, tell me I can't do something. And you know, you can't build a helicopter that's gonna do that. You can't build a stabilization that's gonna do that. It's impossible, you know? And all that stuff, I just love, I'll, I'll seclude myself for a week and make it and then go out there and they'll be like, oh my, it's, it's working? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I told you I'm gonna make it work. And that's kind of, that's my motivation. Like, you know, somebody tells me I can't do something, a week from now I'll have it done, you know? And that's just the path I'm on. So. Inspiring, inspiration comes from my older brother. Uh, he was a, a, a professional motocross rider and he was injured in doing so. He had degenerative disc and everything and he was on the path of doing what he loved to do and because he can't ride motorcycles anymore because of his back injuries that he has and he's doing something else that he doesn't love doing but he always kind of pushes upon me to continue doing what it is I'm doing so that's kind of that's the route you know. I couldn't have done it without the help of my partner and my friend in Whirly Bird Films is Wink Roberts. Um, he was there for me every step of the way financially and also, you know, motivating me um, in order to design what you see that's behind me. Um, you know, we both went through struggles, not only with design and financially, but uh, just the struggle of life being able to do this, you know. I, it's, uh, you know, coming up just to pay rent because you, you spent your, your last grocery money on, on a piece of aluminum that you need to build a part for your helicopter for, that's pretty strong stuff right there, you know? But, so we, you know, I always put the helicopter first and it's cost me, you know, relationships with girls and whatnot, but hey, this is, that's my baby right there, you know? That's what it's all about to me anyways. It's kind of, you, you just don't give up. I mean, it's, it's hard to say that to people because you can tell them, oh, don't give up. And then it's easy for them to give up, but when you really have that inner drive to do and complete something, you're just, you're fully walking in a path of faith, you know? And in that path, it actually, it opens up doors. And a lot of people don't see it or they're, or they're clouded by it, but I feel that, you know, in order to open up your mind and be able to go out and achieve the things that you want to do, you just have to step foot and go do it. You know, I have hundreds of people that tell me every day, you're a helicopter pilot? God, I wish I flew helicopters. And I'm like, well, just go do it. Oh, it's too expensive. 
well, you just go do it, you know, walk down and see if, you know, see what happens. Come check us out, whirlybirdfilms.com. We can film your commercials, we could do some of your aerial shots, we could, you know, start, start working with the camera car guys and start pulling off of what they could do. And uh, let's go make magic happen.